Hello internet, it is I, the Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to the channel, part 148. I know this video's late, I had to work late, so that's why it's late, sorry, but that's just how it is. Anywho, so probably wondering, uh, what caused another cancel episode? Well, two things, but really one thing, and that's what you see on your screen right now, like in the middle of your screen. Kung Fu Panda 4 is happening. Yeah, we got to talk about this. As soon as I saw this news pop up, I was like, yep, I'm talking about this. <laughs> so the fourth Kung Fu Panda movie now has a date, a 2024 date, March 8th, 2024. So, yeah. <laughs> now, when I first heard this news like earlier, like it's technically yesterday, I was... I wasn't, like, super enthusiastic. I mean, like, I like Kung Fu Panda. I like the first two movies quite a bit. I, have, I haven't seen the third movie, so I can't really comment on it. But I don't know, just... I'm just like, really, DreamWorks? Uh, Kung Fu Panda 4? Like, was anyone really begging and really wanting another Kung Fu Panda movie? I don't think the demand was really there. <laughs> At least I don't think so. If you ask me the movies DreamWorks should be making right now are Shrek 5 and Mega Mind 2. Those are the two movies that should be made, but they refuse to make, I guess because the demand would be too high. So they're like, they want to do something smaller, something with less hype, and so boom, they're like, Kung Fu Panda 4, let's do it. <laughs> Probably the same logic they use for making Puss in Boots 2. So, yeah, yeah, uh, and what about the bad guys, too? I mean, that came out earlier this year. People liked that movie. That movie did decent. Why not want to make, announce a sequel for that? I'd like to see a sequel, <laughs> but they're like, no, Kung Fu Panda 4, which, I mean, I think of all the DreamWorks movies, I think this is the second to get the four movie treatment. I know Shrek was the first with like Shrek Forever After. Madagascar was supposed to get the fourth movie treatment, but that never happened because of one, Penguins in Madagascar bombing real hard. And two, a big old restructuring at DreamWorks around like 2014, 2015, like 2014, 13 and 14. Oh, God, it was a bit of a disaster. Actually, it all started with, like, Rise of the Guardians, which is a shame because that movie's really good, but it doesn't change the fact that the movie bombed hard. That bombed, Turbo bombed, Mr. Peabody and Sherman bombed, and then Penguins and Madagascar all flopped, and that cost them big, and it nearly killed the company. But they managed to survive. They survived the Fox era, and then they went to Universal, which, you know, they're at right now sharing a home with illumination <laughs> so yeah yeah but with kung fu panda 4 it's like okay like cool i guess <laughs> i mean i know kung fu panda is still going i mean i know there's like a netflix show uh apparently i think it's this one kung fu panda uh the dragon knight which has jack black re reprising his role as poe which is pretty sweet <laughs> So, yeah, but for all you Kung Fu Panda fans, stands, wherever you are out there, I know this excites you. But for me, I'm like, eh, okay, I guess. <laughs> I can accept this. So, yeah, at least it's not a Boss Baby 3. <laughs> okay. <laughs> at least it's not that. So, yeah, that's like the main, main news. And the other bit of news, not as big, but I might as well mention it. This movie called The Fall Guy. It has a March 1st, 2024 date. Also from Universal. Weird. <laughs> they would put two movies just like back to back like that. It's strange. Now, when I first saw like the title, I first my brain immediately was like Fall Guy. Like... And please tell me I'm not the only one. When I heard like the title Fall Guy, I thought of Fall Guys, the game. Please tell me I'm not the only one who 
who thought that immediately. But yeah, this is apparently starring um, Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling, and it's supposed it's inspired by an '80s show that I've never heard of in my life. <laughs> Wait, David Leach? Wait. David Leach? Yeah, this is David Leach. Wow. This is his next movie. <laughs> this is so weird. Right after, like, Bullet Train. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of wild. <laughs> but, yeah, I have no real thoughts on this. I mean, obviously, I need to see, like, footage and stuff before I can really judge it. But, man, Ryan Gosling, what, what a... <laughs> Like, I know next year is going to be wild because, he, as you know, he's in the Barbie movie as Ken. We've seen a picture of him as Ken with his blonde hair and his washboard abs. It's just like, what is happening here? <laughs> See, Ron Gosling, he, he makes some interesting career decisions, <laughs> to say the least. Like, one minute he's in Blade Runner 2049, the next minute, Barbie. <laughs> so... Yeah, yeah, but yeah. That's it. That's it. That's all. N nothing really, you know, major. Ma well, I guess Kung Fu Panda Four can technically be called major because it's a big franchise. But both these movies obtained dates. It's not like any movie was like pushed up or pushed back. They both obtained dates, so it's not quite as exciting. Unless it's for a movie I really care about, like Sonic the Hedgehog Three, which is also twenty twenty four. So 2024, they're fi it seems like they're finally putting in movies because I feel like there's just a whole lot of empty slots that year. And they're finally filling those slots up. So that's good, I guess. But now it's time to play everyone's favorite game. Uh, what will happen next? Mm, that's a fantastic question. I do not know. <laughs> I mean, August is set in stone, but also dead at the same time. I know it's especially dead this weekend from the early numbers I've been seeing. Especially with Mac and Rita, like, Jesus Christ. And I saw, like, the cinema score for that was, like, a D plus. So I'm like, oh, God, this movie's a disaster, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. The rest of August should happen. Same goes for September. September is pretty much set in stone. There's no, there's no reason for Andy's movies to leave, really. Same goes for October. Same thing. Same thing. And the same thing goes for uh, November. And and December too. Like the rest of the year should stay put. Realistically, I don't see any other movie that would want to move. <laughs> but when it comes to 2023, well, I guess there's all these movies that are still in the ether. But like... Eh, I guess... It, it doesn't matter. But 2023, I mean, you got January, it's whatever. February is whatever. March. Like, Creed 3 is still, like, March 3rd. Like, it's whatever. April, last year in New York, that's dead at this point. Especially dead, considering what's been going on at Warner Brothers. You got May, Book Club 2 should be there. June, The Flash. Okay, I know the news that broke about The Flash, like, it was, like, Thursday. I didn't make a video on it, because I already made a video on The Flash once before. I really didn't feel like doing it again. From what I've heard, Warner Brothers has three options when it comes to that movie. They can either... They release it, and Ezra has to do limited press, where they have to explain their actions, which... Sounds like a disaster in the making, but it's the type of disaster everyone's going to want to watch. So that's option one. Option two is release the movie. Ezra does no PR and they are just cut from the flash, period. Or option three, just cancel the whole thing. Well, I guess whatever Warner Brothers decides to do, I guess it depends on Ezra themselves. Like Ezra is... <laughs> He, Ezra is single-handedly trying to kill not only this movie, but the whole DCEU as a whole. Which is just... <laughs> Ugh. It's a whole mess. We'll see 
if anything official happens with the Flash. But I'm keeping my eye on it. <laughs> Even though I'm not going to watch it, the movie, I am going to keep my eye on it. But the rest of June is like, whatever. Same goes for July. Same goes for August. September. October. November. December. Obviously, a lot can is going to happen next year. Like, it's rare for like a a whole calendar to just stay put. It just rarely happens. And then 2024, there's Kung Fu Panda 4 right there. And the Fall Guy right there. There they are. Then you got the Garfield, which... Well, it could have been movie of the year 2024 if it wasn't for uh, this movie right here, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I'm saying it now. Movie of the year 2024. I'm, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I mean... <laughs> and I shadowed the hedgehog. <laughs> how can how can you be better than that? You can't. It's impossible. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. That's basically what the next two years look like, more or less. But yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn notifications, share the whole drill. Want to check out more videos like this. Got playlists on the homepage for all previous Cancel episodes I've done on the channel, including this one that's now 148. So you have plenty, plenty <laughs> to choose from. So I suggest you binge it all from like beginning to now. You know, highly encourage it. So go do that. There's also box office predictions where I predict box office for movies. This yesterday, technically, I did Fall, I did Mac and Rita, I did Bodies, 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 I did all three. So if you want to watch those videos or any other prediction videos I've made this year, you can go right ahead. And there's also box office recaps where I go over the box office results for any particular month. August recap will come out after Labor Day. And then after that, I make my two-part summer recap where I cover the winners and losers. So that's three videos you can look forward to. Uh, so you can go do that. But yeah, just stay tuned for those. If you want to watch any of the past uh, recap videos, you can. Anywho, yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.